Hi friends, it's Brian Deitch, your favorite Chief Technology Evangelist from Zscaler, and today we're going to talk about deception. Now, whether you've just started on your path to zero trust or you've been doing it for a while, deception is the best tool you can use to help defend critical applications and infrastructure. And why? Well, those threat actors, right? They're after things. You need an effective way to disrupt and dismantle them before they wreak havoc on your data center. Speaking of data centers, boom, here's yours. You probably have some external applications that are sitting there to allow the anonymous internet to come in and talk to them, usually hosted in your DMZ. You have your firewall to segment these things. Then you might have some internal applications. And at the end of the day, what these bad people are after, these threat actors, Active Directory. So let's look at it from the lens of that threat actor. Come over here, little stick figure. They're always grumpy for some reason. They got a chip on their shoulder. I have no idea why. But the, the, the bottom line is they're looking, they're gonna hit your external uh, attack surface here and look for a way in. Maybe this threat actor comes in, get lucky. They find like an Apache struts vulnerability on this server. Now once I'm in, look at me call myself the threat actor, but once I'm in, if I am that bad person, my goal is to kind of bounce around on the network. Maybe I want to try to come over here and talk to another external server in the DMZ, or better yet, maybe I want to get into the internal side of things. This is where kind of firewalls fall over. Yeah, they allow good and bad traffic, but should they be allowing that bad traffic at the end of the day? So maybe there's connectivity between this, this external web server and this internal one as well. That can't be good. Maybe they breach it, maybe they don't. Worst case scenario, they come down here, they're looking for identity. Identity is the central of everything. If I can compromise, if I can own identity, I can lock you out, out of everything, I can do my ransomware and kind of wreak havoc on this. When we look at this, we think, well, how could Zscart begin to even effectively help if we don't sit in line? So the first thing that we do is I give you some decoys. These decoys get deployed in your DMZ and the idea is we want this threat actor to come by and land on one of these. And when we do that, we notify the SOC. Maybe it's credential reuse, maybe it's a, some type of sophisticated attack. But the end result is I want to put them into the internet jail, right? I want to block them from coming in and doing things. But let's say for a second that I miss them and they come in through like this external uh, web server. They come in, they start pivoting around. And now they've gone over here and they're starting to look and see what's available in the internal network. Well, guess what? I can throw out decoys here as well. And the idea is I want to lure them to a decoy. Boom, catch them again, notify the SOC, all things are gravy. But what happens if they compromise identity or Active Directory? Well, I'm not gonna just have like this random Active Directory out there, but what I can do is throw some breadcrumbs out there, service accounts and whatnot, that should never be accessed. The idea is if they are being accessed for whatever reason, notify the SOC, try to figure out where that threat is coming from and block it. Now the cool part is when you block it out here on the internet edge, you're blocking this threat actor from coming in here and talking to any of these servers altogether. But I digress. What about the next Edward Snowden? Threat actor extraordinaire, working from anywhere. And let's say that you're a little bit further down the zero trust path and you're leveraging Zscaler today because let's be real, VPNs are silly. I don't like VPNs at all. We have the big bad zero trust exchange right here. This Edward Snowden character, they have Zscaler client connector. That traffic is going up to the zero trust exchange. We broker connectivity the same way we, as we always do. A little Zscaler VM over here. It reaches outbound, has a little connection baby based off of the identity of the user, let them come in. But what happens if this user is not supposed to talk to the firewall? Now back in the day, right, we would just do like a block. But if I'm just blocking them, that's not really effective. What I really want to do is deceive them. And rather try to do something really sophisticated like send that user over here to this decoy how about I just intercept that traffic, have that user hit one of our decoys. Maybe it looks like an internal application. Maybe it looks like a VPN concentrator. 
Maybe it looks like the firewall. Now when this user tries to access this credential replay, doing some type of sophisticated attack, notify the SOC. That way we can put hands and eyes on them and stop them from doing bad things. Same thing, you look over here, you say, well, Brian, you know what? You got SaaS-based applications. I can throw out breadcrumbs in your environment that would mislead that threat actor, that next Edward Snowden, into going through the Zero Trust Exchange and hitting those things. And last but not least, you might be thinking, okay, I got the data center, but what about my private cloud? Yeah, no problem. Maybe you have AWS, Azure, GCP, OCI, it doesn't matter. Give you decoys all day long. I hang out up over here. Prevent that lateral movement and bad things from happening. So from a SOC perspective, they're going to be like, like Ghostbusters, right? Like tune the box, ready to go. We be fast and they be slow. Meanwhile, that Edward Snowden person or that threat actor is going to be coming through. They're going to be like, they're going to be looking like Uma Thurman when she pickpocketed John Travolta in that one movie, like what the heck just happened? Like, why am I being blocked? So when you start to think about deception, really, it gives you the ability to think outside of the box, to defend those critical applications and infrastructure, and at the same time, block them from doing nefarious things. And that's just how we do it at Zscaler. I appreciate your time. If you have any questions, please comment or reach out to your team. Thank you.